Wake up to the dead-end science of dark matter and dark energy. It's now time to rethink the science of matter. Hello and welcome to my fifth video on the subject of dark matter and dark energy. On the 1st of January 2017 I published my first video in which I said that the theories driving both dark energy and dark matter are dead ends. I tried to show that these illusions arose out of the failure of mainstream science to perceive that we live in a gravity propulsion universe and not in the gravity momentum universe of Newton and Einstein. In fairly quick succession I published two videos in which I tried to demonstrate that if matter has a fundamental property of propulsion there can't be a dark matter galaxy halo. It simply cannot exist. In my third video I show that if matter has the fundamental property of propulsion then the notion of dark energy expanding the fabric of space is also flawed. By demonstrating that two quite different phenomena can be logically explained by the application of one simple solution I propose that my theory begins to be validated. And so if matter has the fundamental property of propulsion then both of these mysteries are resolved at a stroke. May I remind you, mainstream science tells us that dark energy is the stuff that explains how the acceleration of the expansion of the universe is enabled. What they don't explain without magical physics is how the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate without a feedback mechanism. Without a feedback mechanism which controls and directs the acceleration of the expansion of space this model is fatally flawed. In this mainstream scenario, matter of itself is not propelling itself at an accelerating rate away from all other matter. They say it is the volume of space that is expanding at an accelerating rate, making it appear as if matter is accelerating away from all other matter. This does not make any sense at all unless the universe has some infinite source of energy with which to pump itself up to enable this acceleration of the expansion of space. And furthermore, it does not make any scientific sense if there is not a natural mechanism for regulating that acceleration of the expansion of space. I'm sorry to have to force this on you, but there is a much simpler way for matter in the universe to accelerate away from all other matter and it requires only the most elementary science to explain it. It is this. If matter has the fundamental property of propulsion then matter is of itself accelerating away from all other matter into the existing void of space. So space does not have to be expanding at an accelerating rate which requires some clever physics to enable this to happen. If space was already expanded in the beginning of time, then matter just accelerates into the void. So energy does not have to be injected into our universe in order to enable the acceleration of the expansion of space. In my universe, the total of energy is fixed. No clever maths or magical universe properties need to be employed to enable this propulsion and acceleration. The reason this happens is purely mathematical and requires no feedback as it is causational. The exponential increase in the velocity of matter in the universe is explained at a high school maths level. If the force of propulsion of an astronomical body is constant but the force of gravity exerted on that body diminishes by the square of the distance between them, then logically acceleration will increase by the square of the distance. This is exactly what is happening. In my fourth video I try to show that if matter has the fundamental property of propulsion then all of the anomalies in respect of the velocities of stars in galaxies and the acceleration of the expansion of the universe are resolved. Giving matter the fundamental property of propulsion and a 
applying it to the phenomena seemingly needing the existence of dark energy and dark matter affirms the validity of the theory as it eliminates the need for both of them. What I have discovered is so basic, so simple and so fundamental that it is time for the mainstream to take time out from wasting millions of pounds of precious scientific funds on futile dark matter and dark energy experiments. It's time to take up my challenge and prove that I am right. What you have been doing for the past 40 years is to carry out experiments or observations aimed at proving the existence of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter was a given. It only remained to find physical proof of its existence. After all this time and numerous expensive and sometimes wildly adventurous experiments, you have failed miserably to find proof of the existence of dark matter. And now the experiments are becoming ever more desperate. And as for dark energy, that stumped you and continues to do so. So now what? Keep banging your heads against the brick wall? Or start thinking outside of Newton's and Einstein's box? What I'm now asking you to do is switch some of your dark matter research resources to prove that matter has the fundamental property of propulsion. I'm asking you to do this because failure to do so will prove that the scientific mainstream has failed to use the scientific method correctly to examine and explore alternative solutions. One, why matter is being accelerated exponentially in the universe. And two, why stars in the outer reaches of spiral galaxies are being accelerated to much higher velocities than they would be if they were in a gravity-momentum universe. When considering the phenomena resulting in the current theories surrounding dark matter and dark energy, it seems that the scientific method was not applied rigorously. Clearly, the notion that matter might, just might, possibly be self-propelled was beyond anybody's imagination, and if it was thought of, it was rejected out of hand, because that would have required new physics. And who would stick their neck out that far? What a pity! Anyway, better late than never. So let's get on with it. If by this time, in my talk, you have not yet had the Eureka moment, many of you will want to know why I have conflated dark matter and dark energy as if to imply, somehow, that the phenomena giving rise to these theories are connected. Received scientific wisdom has it that dark matter is a completely different concept from dark energy. It is quite obvious to those in the know, dark matter is a gravitational substance which stars are strongly attracted to, whereas dark energy is pure energy pumping up the universe causing galaxies to race away from one another. They say dark energy does not have any material substance and does not interact gravitationally with anything, so has nothing to do with dark matter. One causes attraction and the other causes repulsion, so in fact they say they are quite different and opposing concepts. Well, sorry to have to tell you, but they are wrong. And I will tell you again exactly why they are wrong and why the phenomena are not only connected but are identical. It is very simple, perhaps too simple and basic. Stars in the outer reaches of galaxies are accelerating away from the central black hole as if towards another gravitational source surrounding the galaxy and galaxies are known to be accelerating away from each other exponentially. The challenge is, how are they being propelled? I put it to you, these disparate phenomena are a natural consequence of obeying the inverse square law of propulsion. 
which says as distance between astronomical bodies increases, acceleration will increase by the square of the distance between them. This of course results from the fact that the force of gravity diminishes by the square of the distance between them. But, and it is a big but, you have to be in a gravity propulsion universe for this law of propulsion to work. And that is what I'm asking you to think about in this video. Take the phenomenon of the anomalously high velocities of stars in the outer reaches of galaxies. Why is it presumed that the only possible cause of these much higher velocities is the dark matter halo of gravity? What I want to know is, did anybody brainstorm other possible reasons for this? So, how about another method of propulsion for stars? which would automatically take account of the mass of the star and its distance from the central black hole. What about if stars are self-propelled? What if a fundamental property of matter is self-propulsion? If stars are self-propelled, and if the force of propulsion is proportional to the mass of the star, just like gravity is, then acceleration away from the black hole would be self-regulated by the inverse square law. Is it not interesting, therefore, that self-propulsion achieves exactly the same result, as if there is a gravitational halo of invisible dark matter surrounding the galaxy? And then, in the accelerating expanding universe scenario, if matter is self-propelled, it is self-propelling itself away from all other matter and also obeying the inverse square law. So, if matter is self-propelled, then I show that both dark matter and dark energy become redundant. You have failed in the past 40 years to prove that the dark matter theory is right. My challenge to you now is to prove that I am right. And if you can confirm that it is self-propulsion of matter in galaxies that is causing the anomalous acceleration, then for a bonus you will also solve the enduring mystery of dark energy. If I am right, a new era of scientific endeavour and human advance becomes possible. This is the new science you are looking for. Thank you for listening to me.